What up, everybody? Uh, welcome to your 101st Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial is learn about the async task class. And uh, basically, what that's going to allow us to do. Uh, well, actually, first let's talk about our problem that we're having. For the most part, our app activity works. Uh, we can load data, we can save, or I'm sorry, we can save data and we can load data. Um, but the problem we're having is sometimes, you know, loading data might take some time. Um, if it's a big file or something like that, if it has to read to, through a ton of um, bytes of data. And right now, what we're doing is this we're doing all of that stuff within the same thread as our uh, user interface, like um, the thread that handles our button clicks or touch methods, everything else. So, you know, it's pretty pretty busy and then we add something like saving and loading data to that it's like hey man I'm doing everything you know start your own thread if you want to do some extra crap so that's what basically the async task is gonna allow us to do we're gonna be able to uh, load data on a separate thread so it won't really uh, affect our processing speed not process it won't really affect our uh, you know it won't really stress out our user interface thread because if that's too stressed, it'll slow our application. If it's it's if it goes on pause um, for more than five seconds, it's going to crash our activity. So we're just going to create a new thread um, that is going to handle our loading data in this tutorial. And what we're going to do first is we're going to cut everything from what we did in the last tutorial within our load button. So it should look pretty bare. And make sure you cut it, copied it, because it's going to be pretty much the same code. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class uh, that extends the the async task class, so we can uh, you know load our data there. But we'll, how we call that method or how we call that class to kind of you know do whatever we want it to do is we're just going to say new load some. We're going to say new and then our class name. We haven't created it yet, so we're just going to say new load some stuff which is going to be our class name with two parentheses and then we say dot execute whoa can't spell and then we're going to give it a, uh, a file name something like that now what we need to do is create this class called load some stuff and have it extend the async task so we're going to go right above our last bracket within our you know our, our class here our internal data we're gonna set up a new class so we're gonna say we're gonna say public class load some stuff and then we're gonna say extends async task and then we're gonna give one of these greater than signs and we're gonna say string integer and string and I'll, I'll describe what that means here in a second so now we have this load some stuff class and it's given us an error because we have to implement a method because we're using the async task. So we're going to say add unimplemented methods and it creates this method doing background. Now what we're going to do is just kind of paste everything from the previous tutorial within this doing background. So again, we just created this uh, you know new execute method for the most part and we pass in a string. And once this execute method gets called, it's going to go to our class name, which we call load some stuff, and it's going to do this method, do in background. So in the background, it's going to kind of load all our data that we want. So we're just going to hit Control V for paste. And what we're going to do is um, this method is looking to return something. So instead of saying, you know, setting our text here, which we could still do, we're just going to say return collected. And again, collected was that string right here that we get or that we set up that reads kind of our data from our uh, file input stream. Again, that we created in the last tutorial. So after all that happens, if everything works properly, it's going to close our file input stream, and it's going to return the string called collected. So now um, let's talk about this setup here. Um, as we, as you can see, we extended the async task class, and now let's talk about these three parameters. The first parameter is saying, "Hey, what is being passed in?" And since we're passing a file name, which is a string, we're going to set up this first reference as a string as well, or whatever you're passing in. 
The second reference is for kind of a progress or update bar. Um, so we're going to work with integers. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to show you guys that or not. We might, but uh, I'm not positive yet. And then the third one is what we're returning. And again, we're returning another string called collected. So that, that's what those parameters are again, uh, what we're passing in, what uh, our progress is, and what, our, uh, what we're returning for the most part. And then again, this do in the background method is what is called when we execute. So it's just going to create a file input stream, load everything, and pretty much everything we did in the last tutorial. Now that's probably the end of this tutorial uh, since we got you know our async task set up and we learned about this do in background method. I'm going to show you guys some more methods that we can use with this async task class as well. So I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one. Peace.